These rivers, Rangit, Rangpo, Lachen, Lachung and others, all flow into the Tista, which runs right through the central highlands of Sikkim. The true grandeur of Sikkim, however, is to be discovered in the incredible range and variety of its Himalayan flora. To the exploring eye, a whole world of forms and colors is revealed beneath the green mantle of its forests. The glory of Sikkim is the rhododendron. But where so much beauty abounds, it's difficult to give pride of place to any one species of flower or orchid. While the flowers and orchids add to the natural beauty of the place, there are other growing things which bring another kind of benefit to Sikkim. Cardamom, widely used as a cooking spice, forms one of Sikkim's main items of export. And so do oranges, grown in orchards, as tasty and wholesome as the cum. Farming in Sikkim is dictated by the nature of the terrain. Wheat and barley and potato may be grown in the higher altitudes, while lower down, in terraced fields that stripe the mountainside, maize and rice are grown. In the valleys of Sikkim are the villages. In these villages live 90% of Sikkim's total population of less than 200,000. One of the most enchanting of these villages is in the valley of Lachung in North Sikkim at an elevation of 9,000 feet. Lachung takes its name from the river that runs through it. As is fairly common, the settlement has grown around a monastery. Not far from Lachung, and at about the same elevation, lies the valley of La Chen. The village here is marked by wooden cottages huddled together on the lower slopes of the mountain that rises steeply behind. The people of Lachen belong to a border tribe that originally came from Tibet.